What's up Madden 25 gamers welcome to today's video guys and today we're going to be talking and discussing about how to beat the blitz in Madden NFL 25. The formation we're going to be using is the Seattle Seahawks and we're using the split hawk formation which we can get to through our quick audibles. We just have to set up the audibles in a custom playbook before we go into game. Alright so what we're going to be talking about today is the slot shake. I think this is a really nice play for beating the blitz because you get two block and release patterns from your halfbacks in the backfield. Alright, now the next thing here that I want to show you is I want to show you a couple of different hot routes that you can do to make this more effective. What I really like to do is place Deshaun Jackson on a smart routed out route and you see that you have that on that far left side. In case they're in a zone blitz, typically the out route does a nice job. All right. The next thing I want to do is place Jeremy Macklin on a uh, slant route. And what's going to happen is he's going to clear out space so that when Riley Cooper comes on that little shake route over the middle, it'll open up more space. Here you'll see when we snap the ball, it's actually going to be a zone blitz. So I'm going to deliver the out route very quick to Sean Jackson. Typically against backed off coverage like that, you can fit that out route in very quickly. And it just really forces the defense to uh, commit to stopping that. Here you see another quick throw we can make is to Brent Selleck in the flats. Typically he'll get wide open in a zone blitz situation. Alright, LaShawn McCoy's blue route takes a little bit to develop. And you'll see, I mean, he actually is going to pick somebody up. So we would want to kind of use that as a bailout route as opposed to a feature route on this play. And then, um, as you saw there, we hit Jeremy Macklin. Then our next read here is going to be Riley Cooper. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as open as much against zone coverage, uh, especially against zone blitzes. It's more of like if you read them wrong, you have that route to fall back on. But here you see, I mean, just a little bit longer, we could have fit that in. But um, that's against the zone blitz. Here we're going to show you a man-to-man -man blitz out of, out of the Mike Strong safety dog, one of popular man blitz in this game. Now our first read is still the same. The smart routed out route does a nice job. I've been liking smart routed out routes for two years now to beat uh, zone blitzes and man blitzes. Typically they beat them and they shred them. Um, our next read here is Brent Selleck. You'll see that Brent Selleck is actually going to pick someone up. So if it's a man blitz, we'll need to actually hit that slant route coming across. So you just need to actually, you know, you just need to make a read. If Brent Selleck doesn't go out, then you're just going to continue to progress. Don't panic. Continue to progress across the field and see now that you have that Jeremy Macklin route wide open over the middle. Okay. Now the next read that we're going to show you here today, we are going to show you Riley Cooper's route. You can actually pass lead this outside when he cuts and he'll actually react to the ball and do a nice job at beating man-to-man -man coverage so that's another reason why we like that route and then we'll show you here the two block and release patterns you'll see Salat comes out and uh, typically those are just kind of safety valves but I like the fact that they actually do block for you in this season's game now what about against if you maybe read them wrong and maybe they're actually in a cover three well if that so happens Typically, these block and release routes are your friends. This route to LaShawn McCoy does a really nice job at getting in a nice little soft spot on zones, and you can easily hit that against zone coverage. And then another thing that's your friend against situations like this where they actually do drop off is stuff like these shake routes to Riley Cooper. The slant route, as you saw, is going to pull the zones down so that we can hit Riley Cooper in behind them. Here we'll show you another example of that. Here he's on a slant route. He pulls the zones down just a little bit more time, and I could have delivered that ball to Riley Cooper over the middle. Little things like that is what goes into you know having a good blitz beater, but also just a good play in general, where you know we're hitting we're hitting you over the middle. Um, obviously, you have the power O as you run audible down here. You can use it and kind of if they're in a bad situation for blitzing, you can really take advantage of it there. Another thing that we have here is um, they actually have a slip screen in their playbook, uh, not you know, and then you have all these quick passes, things like that. Uh, universal blitz pickups like blocking both running backs. It's going to stop every blitz in the game um, as long as you slide protect to the left. So here, let me show you. So I'm going to slide left, and I'm going to pick up everybody that comes at least initially, and it's going to give me more time to hit routes over the middle. And obviously, you know, if you just 
how you know they can draw more people in coverage they may throw risk at making maybe getting a coverage interception or something but it's the idea behind it um, and you see here I mean a block crib and I deliver the out route to Deshaun Jackson without really hardly any difficulty and, and it, that's just the way I like to go about beating the blitz for this formation but practice your reads make sure you get these plays down before you go into game this is how I would beat the blitz in Madden 25 from the split hawk into the Seattle Seahawks playbook